Okay, we have again two conducting spherical shells. They are concentric, they uh, share the common uh, center. The inner shell has a radius A and a charge of 2Q, while the outer shell has a radius of 2A and a charge of Q. Okay, these are the uh, radii and the initial charges of these two spheres. So I define the electric field 1 between the uh, shells, between the region uh, R is larger than A and less than 2A. When these two shells are isolated, they are not connected to anywhere, nothing. And I define the uh, electric field 2, E2, in the second case. When we connect these two shells by a conducting wire. So, electric field in between these two shells, when the two shells are connected by a wire. Okay, okay so we have to uh, calculate the electric field magnitude E2 divided by E1. This is the question. E2 is electric field when these are connected. They were initially they were charged as 2K and Q. And the first case, these are charged 2K and Q, but they are not connected. In that case, what is the electric field in between? And this is the ratio that we have to calculate. We have, uh, moreover, uh, one more question. Uh, define EO, the electric field outside, in the case of these two shells are isolated with these charges. The electric field outside, outside the second shell. And I define EO prime, the electric field outside, again, the shell, when these two shells are connected to each other. And I will calculate again EO divided by EO prime. And this is the other question. So let's start with the first question. And, you know, when we have these two shells, they are isolated with these charges 2Q and Q with inner radius A and 2A. What is E1? Well, uh, pick up any point, and this point will be the electric field to be calculated, E1, and the point is between the shells. And what do you have just the, uh, by using the symmetry of this problem, just uh, form an imaginary Gaussian surface that passes from uh, this point. And this imaginary Gaussian surface contains a charge of 2Q. And with, you know, the help of Gauss's law, uh, this total charge, Q, 2Q divided by epsilon 0 will be equal to flux. And from this, it's very easy to calculate the E1 electric field in the region between the shells k, the charge 2q divided by r squared, where r is the distance from the center to any point in between these two shells. So this is the expression for e1, and what about e2? Now, uh, e2 is the case when with these initial charges we make a connection between these two spheres, okay, uh, and with this connection, the question is, what is the electric field at the same point, and this will be E2. Okay, so with this connection, what we make, in fact, uh, we just uh, equalize the potentials of the inner shell and the outer shell to equal to each other, okay. Once you have a connection, the potential of the inner shell and the outer shell will be the same. With this new potential, and with the total charge of uh, Q and 2Q making 3Q, what will be the new charge distribution? Let me just uh, write down these new charge distributions, Q1 prime and Q2 prime for the inner shell and the outer shell. And I should know what these Q prime, uh, Q1 prime and Q2 prime because uh, Q1 prime is to be used to calculate the electric field, new electric field in between the shells, uh, so that I can uh, calculate this ratio. So let's say, so concentrate on these uh, new charges once you make this connection. Well, uh, I have this equation V1, the potential of the inner shell and the outer shell V2 equal to each other. But I know that V1 is nothing but uh, K Q prime, Q1 prime divided by its 
radius and on the other hand v2 will be k q2 prime divided by 2a with the condition that since you know these uh, shells are only connected to each other in that case the total charge of 2q plus q must be conserved i mean total charge q total is 3q that means q1 prime plus q2 prime is equal to 3q so with this condition so um, since v1 and v2 are equal to each other let's make this uh, equality and find q1 prime and q2 prime in terms of initial charges uh, just drop the case and q1 prime divided by a will be equal to q2 prime divided by 2a making q1 prime new uh, charge for the inner shell the half of the uh, outer new charge and once you know you see these there are two uh, three three q charges you can easily uh, conclude that q1 prime will be q and q2 prime will be 2q so this holds and the total of these two are equal to 3 so you see in this case once you make the connection these charges just uh, reversed i mean the inner shell uh, will have a charge of q this time and the outer shell will have a charge of 2q but we have done this in class uh, whenever whenever you have two uh, uh, spheres with different uh, radii are connected to each other their charges will be proportional to their radii so that that's that is the case i mean in a larger radii will get the most charge uh, so this what happens over here the uh, new charge for the outer shell is 2q now and the inner shell has a charge of q so with this I can now calculate what the electric field in the second case in between the shells this time uh, since in the inner shell contains a charge of Q any point in between with a distance of R will have the electric field strength of K Q divided by R square so that means E2 divided by E1 is nothing but uh, E2 will be half of the E1, so it is 1 over 2. The electric field will be reduced. It will be reduced by half once you make this connection. Okay, what about uh, this question? Uh, in both cases, when one, uh, the electric field outside these shells, outside the second shell, the outside region, uh, and the electric field uh, after you connect the out at the outside again after you connect these two spherical shells but you see uh, making this connection or having no any connection at all will, will not change the total of these charges of two spheres and you know calculating any electric field outside region at the outside region requires you to draw an imaginary Gaussian surface at that point and look at what is the total charge inside of this new Gaussian surface but you know this Gaussian surface in both cases whether you make a connection or not will have the same amount of charge so that means the electric field outside will not change in both cases the electric field EO or EO prime will have a total charge of 3Q inside so they both have the same amount EO divided by EO prime will be equal to 1.